What up, you nerds? Fallout here, and remember that real ones ring the bell. We've got some fun stuff to cover today, but I should obviously let you know before we get any deeper, spoiler warning. Anytime we talk about a weapon not yet in the game, if you decide you don't want to hear about it until we actually get our hands on the thing, well, go ahead and X out of this video right now. Go ahead, I won't mind. For those of you still here, couldn't resist the temptation, could you? Well, I don't blame you. Let's talk about the upcoming exotic sidearm, the Traveler's Chosen. That's right, I said exotic. Remember way back at the beginning of D2, the original Traveler's Chosen was the first weapon we ever wielded in the game. Fairly soon though, we're getting this updated version, an exotic kinetic weapon with a ton of excellent things going for it. Now, a lot of people already know about the existence of this weapon. I am absolutely not claiming to be the first one to acknowledge the gun, or even talk about it. Many people have known for quite some time. In fact, you can kind of look for yourself if you want to. In game, go into your menu, head over to the collections tab, then exotic, then the weapons ornaments tab, head down to sidearms and check out the weapon ornament, Sand and Sun. Hovering over that bad boy reveals that yes, indeed, this weapon ornament was made for the not yet in-game Traveler's Chosen sidearm. For anyone out there who didn't yet know about this new gun until today, or who more likely already knows about the gun but wants to learn more, let's dive right in to what we know so far. So currently, Bungie is planning to remove a few locations from D2, which is going to happen when Beyond Light launches this November. Yes, I said November, it was recently delayed. Sorry if you're just learning about that now. The current steps of the evacuation quest are tied to this gun, which mainly involve speaking to and doing busy work for Sloane, Zavala, Asher, Brother Vance, and Anna Bay. At the moment, we're not able to completely finish this quest line. It's believed that we'll be able to do more and more of it as time moves on. When all the steps of the quest are completed, we will be awarded with the Traveler's Chosen Exotic Sidearm. When exactly will we be able to complete said quest? Well, according to current data predictions, the final step seems to be taking place on August 4th, which is one week before the Solstice of Heroes event launches. So about two weeks from now, give or take when I publish this video, based on current estimates is when we'll be able to get our hands on the gun. If you want to take a peek at all the quest steps currently believed to be involved in acquiring the gun, AKA the evacuation quest line steps, including future steps, which we haven't been given yet, check the article I have linked down below in the video description. Currently, I actually think the quest line is called Exodus, but I believe it will later lead to the evacuation quest line. Doesn't matter, whatever it's called, all roads lead to Rome. There seems to be a decent number of steps involved in getting the gun, but none of them seem too complicated. Like the rest of the evacuation and exodus quest lines, just a lot of PVE related busy work. Okay, with the how out of the way, let's go ahead and focus on the what. What exactly does the exotic traveler's chosen bring to the table and why am I so confident it'll be good? Well, let's start with the basics. The traveler's chosen is a kinetic sidearm and an unofficial member of the adaptive frame family, clocking in with a 300 rounds per minute rate of fire. For those of you keeping score at home, that's the exact same rate of fire as the Drang, my current favorite hands down PVP sidearm of all time. Is the Traveler gonna be strong enough to compare to the sexy god king of all sidearms, Drang. Well, the numbers look good so far. The Baroque Drang, aka the one you get from the Menagerie, drops with a base range of 42 and an aim assist of 70. The Absolute Chad Traveler's Chosen drops with an aim assist stat of 80 and a range of, dear god, 82. That's kind of absurd. In fact, if we compare it to all other sidearms in the 300 RPM class, it's pretty clear that the Traveler's Chosen dwarfs all other challengers in the default range department. Now, with the right perks, you can get a Baroque Drang to drop with pimped out range, but that is the beauty of the Traveler's Chosen. It's an exotic, so you don't have to cross your fingers for a hot drop. It drops with hot numbers by default, and you can bust out the gate right away. I'd like to take this time to remind you that an adaptive frame sidearm has an optimal time to kill of 0.6 seconds in PvP. That's faster than most god-tier primary hand cannons. Spare rations, dire promised, and other hot 150 RPMs can only kill at 0.8 
So up close, short of the enemy putting you down with something like a shoddy, sidearms are criminally underrated. Traveler's Chosen is also sitting on a very respectable stability of 68, almost nice in the chat, and an ideal recoil direction of 85. If you remember from my does counterbalance actually do anything video, 85 is rock solid, meaning a very vertical recoil kick overall. Not that sidearms usually have a problem firing wildly off to the side, but hey, Great numbers either way. Moving on to what the unique exotic perks are, we have the following. Gathering Light. Final blows with this weapon grant stacks of Gathering Light. Consume stacks, granting melee, grenade, and class ability energy based on the number of stacks that you have. Okay, so getting final blows with your Traveler's Chosen sidearm is gonna give you stacks in a way that seems very identical to the Charged with Light mechanic. You'll be able to consume those stacks, which will be able to return melee, grenade, and class ability energy based on how many stacks you have at the time. Now that on its own could be pretty sick. Hunters already have a fairly fast ability cooldown, but with this gun, it could be even quicker. Titans who love to ballistic slam together with the Dune Marchers, apparently all Titans in PVP these days, might really appreciate the faster melee charge time. Warlocks with handheld supernova or any oppressive darkness nade in PVE might greatly appreciate the faster grenade cooldown. It's all sounding pretty good on paper so far, right? Right? But wait, there's more. Further down the Traveler's Chosen perk line, we have this, Gift of the Traveler. Each stack of Gathering Light improves this weapon's reload, handling, and target acquisition. All of that is straight up gravy. Faster ability regen is one thing, but I'm way more interested in weapon performance. And getting more stacks improving reload, handling, and target acquisition all at the same time? That's insane. Yeah, it's no extra damage output like Kill Clip or Rampage, but beefing up your weapon's performance to that degree is pretty wild. Depending on how long Gift of the Traveler is active for, I would probably rather sit on those buffs as opposed to intentionally consuming them to charge my abilities quicker. It's gonna be one of those things where I'll have to get my hands on the gun to find out just how good Gift of the Traveler really is. Either way though, even if both the unique perks turn out to be bad, which I highly doubt, the Traveler's Chosen has still absolutely disgusting base stats. Gotta admit though, the one thing that the Drang still holds over the Traveler's Chosen is the barely better zoom factor, 14 compared to the Traveler's 12. I know, it sounds very small, but the extra zoom is gonna help your weapon land shots in the long run. I've talked in the past about how too much zoom can be jarring, and yeah, that's true, but on a sidearm, it's really not very noticeable visually. It's one of the reasons that Drang feels good in PvP, that tiny little extra zoom factor. Anyway, the TLDR is that the Traveler's Chosen is gonna be a disgusting, great kinetic primary weapon, especially considering how good sidearms are right now up close in PvP. If we get any more new information on the Traveler's Chosen between now and August 4th, I'll be sure to share that knowledge with you right away. And when I finally get the gun in my hands, I'll be sure to do an in-depth review on just how good the weapon performs in both PvE and PvP. If you enjoyed today's content, go ahead and let me know by clicking the like button, and if you haven't subscribed yet, do me a flavor and bash that button over the head. It's free and moves me one step closer to my goal of taking over the world. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time.